Reaching survivors of domestic violence with hope and help. It's the first of its kind, and earlier this month, Hubbard House started their electronic campaign targeting survivors living in zip codes with historically high numbers of domestic violence homicides. So joining me now, Hubbard House CEO, Dr. Gail Patton, to discuss the efforts. Good morning. Good morning. You guys are always busy, but the holiday season really, you know, it, it tests those relationships. It really does. When you look at families that are tend to be home more often together during the holiday season, and when violence is there, mm -hmm. there are just more opportunities for violence. But also, if you think about it culturally, we all have expectations about what the holiday season is going to look like. But unfortunately, in families where there's violence, those expectations don't come to fruition. Children are watching violence during the holiday seasons, just like they are during other parts of the year. And even though the surviving parent is trying to make a good time for the children, when violence enters the picture, all bets are off the table. And so we're here for survivors every day of the year, but we're also here for you during the holidays when it can be very tense and when survivors try to keep it together for the holidays, but your life and your safety mm -hmm. are more important than that. So we're here and we encourage people to reach out. And we've talked about it before. There is no necessarily good or bad time during the year for domestic violence because it happens every day. Right, it does, unfortunately. And people that live in these situations, children that are watching this, survivors that are trying to just get through another day, there is help for them and there is hope for them. If they would just reach out to our hotline number, we can brainstorm with them what's the best thing for them. We're here to listen to them and to help them make choices for their life. Talk to me a little bit about this new targeted program. Very interesting. It is. It's called Quiet Moments. It was funded by a donor who really wanted to get the message out to the community, out to survivors that they're not alone and that there is a way that they can get help. So in a survivor's quiet down times, when they're able to get away and maybe look at their phone and play a game, an ad about Hubbard House mm -hmm. will pop up. Or sitting in waiting for a bus to come and a bus will drive by and there'll be a message about Hope, our hotline mm -hmm. number. So it's in those different places where we're having downtime, sitting, waiting, watching. Information can come up to let survivors know that they're not alone and that there is help. And that's what we're here for. Just those quiet moments, right. that moment that you're having with yourself. So, you know, if someone sees this right now, and we've talked about this so many times before, mm -hmm. but it never ceases to amaze me how many people still call every single day because they need this moment, us telling right now. So mm -hmm. what do you say to those people who are watching right now? I am saying go to a safe place and make a phone call, 1-800-500-1119. And there will be somebody at the end of the line who's not there to tell you what to do, but to listen to you and help you explore your options because everybody deserves to be safe. Everybody deserves to have a holiday free of violence. And that's what we're here for. Thank you, Dr. Gail Patton. Thank you so much always for joining us. We appreciate it. That number um, is right. You're going to see that on our website again. It is 24 hours. Someone will always be there to help you out. That number will be on newsforjax.com. We'll be right back.